Lions and Lionesses, welcome to this episode of German Vibe. We're checking out the relationship between Kenyan reggae artists and Kenyan reggae DJs. Now, on this one, one of the DJs took it to social media and explained if you want your event to flop, just involve Kenyan reggae artists. He said he is a reggae promoter, where he mentioned that he is not interested in working with Kenyan artists no more. The artists definitely had something to say. They say that the guy need, needed to understand that. The artist created new music and new content while the DJs play something that the audience is familiar with. Therefore, they explained that there is a need for artists and DJs to work together. That was not how DJ Hatiko Morigi, one of the Kenyan protocol DJs, took it to social media and said is half the reggae game. Now, earlier before the show, the One Love Culture, somebody had taken to social media and explained that if they weren't willing to involve the Kisumu reggae family, that definitely the event was going to flop. Now, an observer took it to social media and said they observed how the event went from having good sound and good stage. The problem they mentioned that it was that the event was not marketed so well, blaming it that it could have flopped because of the earlier event, which was the Richie Spice event. Now, it has taken a lot of conversation from people, definitely some with a positive energy, saying that the event has flopped before. E.G. Capitan Nairobi and Glenn Washington, Sasha Mali, and all they needed to do as Kenyan artists and DJs was to work together. Now, let us know what you think about Kenyan reggae family. Is it really the artists or is it really the DJs? What do you think could be done for this to work out? Keep it German vibe. Definitely this is where we update you on the world of reggae.